We're requesting a ride to the future. You might think, oh, you've seen this before, but you haven't. What you see is the world's first robo taxi. No driver. It's gonna come in. Look at this. We're in Vegas and it's gonna be rolled out here first, like really soon, and then San Francisco and then other cities. Now, you might be like, well, hang on a minute. There are other autonomous cars and I've even seen it on your platform. Here's the difference. Okay, this is fully purpose built, right? They have not taken a car that already exists on the road and retrofitted it with, you know, all of the technology. They've built this from the ground up and it's quite a unique design, right? What you'll notice is it's symmetrical. So if you come over here, this side and this side, exactly the same. So they've done that for a number of reasons. The overall look is inspired by, get this, you never have guessed this, but it will make sense. A 19th century horse carriage. Like, oh yeah, let me show you around. So, because it's fully autonomous, right? You've got all of this technology to basically get you safely to where you're going. It's got LiDAR technology, it's got radar, it's got cameras, it's got long wave infrared sensors. I was like, cool, I will never remember that. <laughs> but there you go. So it's got those four different technologies on each corner. So you'll see it here, here, and of course on the front of the car and the front and the back, because this is the front and the back. You got these massive wheels actually, right? They're quite big. And what's interesting is, is that it, each wheel has its own suspension. So basically it just makes the ride a lot smoother for the people inside. And you've got these interesting kind of shaped wheels here. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of Tetris-y. It's kind of futuristic looking, right? This is what autonomous vehicles look like in 2024. But the first attempt to build an autonomous vehicle dates back almost 100 years. Back in 1925, a company called Udina Radio Control had already attempted and failed at creating a radio controlled vehicle called the American Wonder. Then in 1964, the first ever truly driverless vehicle called the Firebird 4 was meant to work using sensors that followed a wire embedded in the road, but that was never functional. Then in the 70s, we saw big advancements in robot mobility when Stanford University successfully built a cart that crossed a room filled with obstacles with no human intervention. The thing is, it took about five hours. Fast forward to 2024 and we're on the verge of fully autonomous robot taxis on our roads. All right, now we'll see this in a sec, but these doors slide open which means basically more safety for pedestrians. You're not like opening the door and like cyclist comes by and flies off. Um, and also it means that because it opens like this, it can squeeze into tighter spaces, right? You can get right up next to a car on the street, whatever. Now this, let's look at the front back. We're gonna call it the front back because that's what it is. Or is it the back front? Tricky. All right, now here you've got an LED light running across here. Why? Because this is going to be used to communicate with the passengers or with people around you as the car drive. Uh, you've just got the branding here, Zooks, so that's going to light up. And then down here, you'll see this is the both the headlight when it's going forward and the brake when it's going back, which is quite cool. It's integrated in, in one piece. Uh, and then you have more cameras here, of course. Now, this strip along here, speakers. And that's just basically going to communicate to people around what the taxi is doing. There's cameras everywhere, but this one is called the Mohawk, which kind of makes sense. That's its nice little hairstyle straight down the middle. Right, I have shown you the outside. I think it's time to get in and actually experience what this is like um, inside, shall we? All right, open sesame. Let's see these doors. Very cool, very concept car-ish brought to life. Here you go. This is, as you can see, driverless, no steering wheel, no driver. And now you can see the horse carriage inspiration where you've got two people on this side facing two people on that side, which is really cool. Now, let me show you. You've got 
your own little pod. You've got a wireless charger, a drink holder, USB-C port, then you've got this little display here where you can play music, right? So we can play some music, we can do this. This actually sets the temperature just for you as a passenger. Oh, one thing, one cool thing, the celestial lights, look. So at night, this would look so cool. You can kind of see it now though, can't you? Kind of sparkle in and out, a little light roof. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I wouldn't feel safe without a human driver. Well, Zooks has thought a lot about this, of course. They've done a huge amount of crash testing and have built some incredible custom-made safety features. The other thing is, is that this has passed all of the federal safety crash tests. Get this, airbags everywhere. Airbag comes down from the roof, boom. Airbag comes from the side, boom. Airbag comes from the back. And you are encompassed in like an airbag sleeping bag, which is crazy. Now, camera up here. This is actually for your safety. So if they see something happening in here and they need to help you, they can. Before we go for a drive, I wanna show you how they taught this car to drive. All of the testing stuff for the last 10 years. Oh my God, this is crazy. 10 years in the making, hundreds of cars to be able to map everything out just so that we can have autonomous taxis on, on the road. As you can see, these test vehicles have the same tech that's on the robo taxis, right? So you've got the radar, the LiDAR, the uh, cameras, the long wave infrared sensors. It's got a lot going on. Not only are these cars mapping out the routes, but they're also gathering data that actually helps Zooks develop the AI that's running in the robo taxi. Just hop in, I wanna show you what all of this tech actually can see right now. You see all of these Things. These are people, that's you, Charles, with the camera, that's us, all of the cars around us. All of that technology is picking up on right now. It can actually see 200 meters in every direction. Just like a human driver would, Zook's vehicles rely on a map to follow, and every map needs data. Zook gathers data firsthand using Toyota Highlanders before their mapping teams transform it into high definition 3D maps. This one right here, you can't get in. This is just for their purposes, testing and mapping out uh, the roads, but you can get in the Robo Taxi. That's the one that is purpose built for us to hail. So we're gonna go and give it a go. You might think, oh, you've seen this before, but you haven't, watch. It's gonna come in. Look at this. Your Zooks is here. All right, here we go. Look, no driver. Okay. Okay, now. Welcome to oh, welcome. Please use the touch screen to close the doors. Okay, I will. Oh, yes, there it is. Close the doors. Okay, look. See ya. Cool, and then it will not move until you put your seatbelt on. Another safety feature. So, let's do that and get on our way. All right, we're buckled. Start ride, hold down. Three, two, one. Oh, I like the countdown, that's quite cool. Tick. You've got your uh, estimated time of arrival here that pops up on the screen and how long it's gonna take to get there. Oh, here we go. Here we go, oh, nice smooth start. Hello. <laughs> Look, no hands. Handled that speed bump all right, pretty good. Stopped at the stop sign. No one ever does that, except for a robot taxi. I can press this, I can tap that cooler. So this kind of encapsulates me. I've got my own air conditioning functions. See, this is the thing. I don't even feel like I'm being dro driven by a robot taxi. I Honestly, I don't. It feels like someone could be driving. There is just, it is smooth. It's not like jerky in any way. It's completely smooth and it's looking now can it can it go can it turn right can it turn right there's no cars there is a car coming uh, it's like should i wait for it or not what are we going to do okay it's going to let it pass but see you could actually in those seconds hear it thinking it's like mm, should i mm, okay no i'll wait it's quite cool it's like what we would do naturally right we're like yes can we wait yeah okay fine no emergency button so obviously something happens, you press that, that will dial straight into a human back at the base who will help you out. 
here's a little route. We're out on the public roads. Hi, Vegas. What's up? Nice, huh? We've got the star lights going. Celestial headliner. Like, how cool is this? Instead of getting a, another ride-sharing uh, vehicle, right? You can get in with your mates. You don't have to deal with, like, a, an angry driver, which I have to deal with all the time. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you get in and they're just in a bad mood and it ruins your day. Here, it's just you, your mates, or you by yourself. You can have your own time. Here we are, stopped at the lights, turning right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's like, what a weirdo. Oh, that's funny. Oh, because you can turn right any right time, right? Yeah. You can turn right with a red light, and that's what it's doing. All these cars are coming, and it's like, I'm going to squeeze in when I can, because you can turn right on a red light here in this state and in California, but I'm not sure in any other states. But here we go. It's it's good. It's clear. It's clear. It's, it's, it's coming in. We're coming in. Okay. Safe. Clear. So the top speed is 120 kilometers an hour, so that's 75 miles per hour. And yeah, it feels feels quick. It doesn't feel like it's being too cautious, if you know what I mean. It is being cautious, obviously. It has so many safety features, but it doesn't feel that way. It's like a little extension of your house where you can watch a movie, chill with your mates, have a meeting. It's the first time I've been in a purpose-built autonomous robot taxi. All of this didn't happen overnight, obviously, right? This has been a long time in the making, 10 years of research and development. It's founded in Cali in 2014, so 2024, 10 years later. And they actually did hundreds of sketches for the design. What could it look like? It could literally look like anything when you think about it. It could literally look like anything. And this is what they settled on, this kind of carriage-inspired vehicle because of the social setting they wanted to kind of uh, uh, adopt here in the back. I just think it's cool that we're finally seeing something that we saw only as a concept car years and years ago. And we thought, well, will that actually happen? Will it come to the roads? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. How long is it gonna take? Just a couple years later, here we are driving around in a fully autonomous electric vehicle that you can hail and no driver, <laughs> which is, they were given approval to drive on public roads in 2023. So that'll give you a good idea as to how much longer we need to wait. It's coming soon. It's coming really, really soon. So yeah, it's cool. It's actually quite comfy. It's like a little lounge, right? I'm facing you and you're facing me and we're vibing. It's nice. It's cool. So if you want to, I know I like driving. You guys like driving. I know, I know. But there's always, there is a time to use a taxi like this. Like if you wanna go out with your mates and you wanna chuck on some tunes, you don't wanna to have to worry about driving back after a night out. This is it, it works, I like it. I like the idea, the future's here. And we've just arrived, so open doors and then that's gonna, and then it says, don't forget your things. And here we are, easy. Easy. I like it. 